how do I use this for my business? Oof, now I'm going to get fired up here, Lou, so try to hold me back here. <laughs> I love the strategy, guys. I think the strategy is so undertaught, and um, so let's dive into this. So I'm going to really show you guys a couple of case studies of how you can build audiences like these uh, very quickly. So let's say you are a web designer or a graphic designer or you have some kind of online skill that you want to attract clients to yourself or gigs to yourself, whatever you guys call them. And you decided to host a Google Hangout webinar following our system. So you hosted the Hangout webinar and you shared it everywhere, you, you know, on social media, um, you maybe ran an ad or something, maybe you had some uh, other friends help you promote it, and you get 100 people to sign, to, uh, to sign up for your webinar, your first one. Let's say you added 100 people to your email list, you're a web designer, you're looking to attract clients, and let's say 50 show up. You then proceed to share your screen in front of their very eyes live and sharing and teaching the latest techniques on, let's say you're a web developer, WordPress, plugins, all of the new things there, right in front of their eyes, 50 people live on the spot. You answer their questions, you do some live back and forth, coaching with them, and then at the end, you offer your services on the spot. They can work with you either through a one-on-one, -on -one, a, a, a maybe a membership site that you have that answers questions for people, so not only that, you offer it on the spot, but you're also going to get the chance since you collected their emails to offer that through their e your email marketing afterwards as well. So think about it, guys. Think about this. This gets me excited. Is like, how much of a home run is this if you're this kind of person? Like, who's doing this right now? Nobody. Um, you know, imagine people live, 50 people, let's say just as a modest number, are watching you do your skill in front of them. Do you think that's going to like build that trust factor? you think they're going to question your abilities when you're doing it right in front of their face? Gives you that over-the-shoulder, oh. watch me as I do this kind of thing. We're actually doing this with our web designer, and um, man, he's excited to get this going. So if this is you, if, you're, if maybe if you have a technical skill or something that you're looking to get out there, host a Hangout webinar in something like Webinar Jam, and you are going to hit a home run because there's no hiding it. You're, if you've got the skills, you're going to show them. You're going to answer their questions. They're going to love you, and you're going to get business big time. So let's say you're a coach or consultant. Probably many people out here are. Mm -hmm. And you decide that you want to host a live Hangout webinar series, maybe every two weeks, maybe once a month, with a guest expert like I do. I'm Lou and I, this is how we met. And you get 100 signups for your first webinar. Very easily, very, very modest to do. You can definitely do that. And 50 people come and watch you. You and your guests then teach that audience and give them a lot of value. You answer questions. And you and your guests, you know, offer your services live on the spot. You also, um, obviously, as I mentioned before, get to follow up with them via email. So 50 people see you as an expert, see you as an authority. You're with these people um, and it's building your credibility as you know, an entrepreneur, as a business owner, as a possible speaker or something like that if you choose. Imagine getting on an ongoing series and meeting the major players in your niche, your industry. And that's really what you have the chance to do here with your Hangouts is, is to do that. So that's what I've been doing now for about 18 months um, in my old uh, niche, which was healthcare. I met some of the biggest people in that industry, got writing gigs for national publications, um, got you know, attracted clients for marketing. It's, it was a home run to do it. And so imagine if you want to get in your niche, whatever it is, however small it is, you're going to rub elbows with experts. And guys, most people say yes. I mean, I had no business bringing on some of the people that I <laughs> was interviewing. But because I had a platform and a unique platform, they were willing to come on. And I was able to share with them. I was able to... Um, build that connection with them. 